Hey! So, 343 Industries just dropped a new update to MCC, and that is custom map support. So, we're going to test custom map support by testing all the custom edition maps. That's right, we have 5,235 maps to go through, and we're going to see how long it takes to get to the other side of the map list, or how long it takes for the game to crash. Anyway, uh, on your marks, get set, go. Oh my, this is going quite fast. And, uh... Okay, the frame rate is now at 24 FPS. We are at cinematic frame rates. This is a cinematic experience, and we just passed that. Now we're in claymation frame rates. This is a stop motion experience. And there are a lot of blood gulches. Oh my goodness, there are so many blood gulches. Why, why are all of these maps blood gulch? Why are most of the... What is this? So... So we have Halo Custom Edition. You can make custom maps. You can make whatever you want. And people were like, nah, we don't need we don't need completely custom maps. We just want more blood gulch. Should have been called not Halo Custom Edition, but Halo Custom Blood Gulch Edition, because that's what we're going through. Oh my goodness, there's no this coagulation. It's technically not blood gulch. It's, it's, a uh... okay, now we have some Halo 3 stuff, that's cool. Um, oh man, it's gonna be weird, because, like, people backported a bunch of, like, back in the day, people would backport, like, so, like, when Halo 2 came out, they would backport all the stuff from Halo 2, so you get, like, you get, like, the actual coagulation with fake dual wielding and stuff, and it's, like, as the games went by, like, as the newer games came out, so like you get to Halo 3 and then Halo Reach, it just started to become like more of a budget version of that game, I guess. Like, Halo 2 wasn't so different, but then in later games it was like, I mean, it is, it, it looks like it, but it definitely doesn't play anything like it. I mean, even Halo 2 doesn't, doesn't play, even, even if you port the maps to see, it doesn't play quite like it. There are more blood gulches. Um, uh, that's like the physics are different and all that stuff and there's there are different features luck out ooh, cursed island Get more halo 3 stuff uh, dojo link stuff link flood gulch ooh that's a clever one flood gulch <laughs> I haven't heard that one before uh, Futurama ooh ooh like I didn't, some of these maps are like going to straight up infringe all the copyrights. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna make it to uh, MCC. Uh, a lot of these maps aren't gonna make it to MCC either because they're protected, or because they straight up have commit copyright infringement. Like a lot of these maps are gonna be like I don't know, like uh, rips of other games. Like there's like a there's like a map that has like Call of Duty stuff in it. Um, Ooh, Helix Canyon. That's actually a pretty good one. That's a classic. Uh, I used to play that one all the time. Um, but like, you're gonna have like, I think there's a there's a map called One uh, One, and it's just and it's just like One One from Super Mario Brothers, and yeah, that's not gonna fly, because. Uh, uh, that and uh, some of these maps are just straight up corrupted and protected, so like you can't even really port them, and they're gonna just instantly crash the game. So there is that. Oh my god, Reach sucks. That is a uh, that is a very 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 hot take. Depending on who you talk to, I mean, I yeah, Reach isn't my favorite game. Uh, but some people are very uh, into Halo Reach, I guess. That's fine. You know, like, of all of these games, you gotta think about this. Of all of these games, one of them... I mean, all of them... Some, it's someone's favorite. Like, like, CE is someone's favorite. 2 is someone's favorite. 3 is someone's favorite. 
Uh, reach is someone's favorite. Four is... Exists. Uh, ODST is someone... I'm kidding. Four is... Someone likes four. I'm sure someone likes four. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to... I had to do that. Anyway, oh, okay, it did... Okay, to be fair, to be fair, MCC can get through all of the custom edition maps without crashing. That is an accomplishment. It takes... Uh, Actually, how long is this recording? It's 5 minutes, 30 seconds. It takes 5 minutes to get to the other side of it, though, but, I mean... Hey, that's, uh... It did do it. It actually did it. Okay, to be fair... To be fair. Okay, fair. This is where... To be fair. People are not going to install... Like, most people are not going to have 5,000 maps installed. Most people are not going to have 1,000 maps installed. Most people are probably not going to get past the 100 or 200 map mark. Alright. Uh, and so, like, I don't, I don't expect this to, like, be great with 5,000 maps, but... There are a few quality of life improvements I think this could have. Um, like, for example, what I would love to see is, for mouse users, being able to not have to scroll like from left to right and only see four maps at a time like in Halo CE and even Halo 2 you could you could go through maps on a vertical list I mean Halo CE on uh, on Gearbox of course you would see maps listed vertically that would be nice to see or or have like a filter option so like you you, you press a button and then you just type in like the, the name of the map or something or like part of the name and it filters all maps out until you see those maps that would be really cool to see um so i do think i do think that i should be able to load any one of these even if i have five thousand maps i should be able to like quickly go to any one of those maps if i want to and load them because you can believe it or not even on custom edition you can load a map specifically, um, you don't go, you don't do it through a menu. You use you use the console command sv underscore map followed by the map name followed by the game type you want to load. So you can actually load whatever map you want on custom edition, even if you have five thousand maps installed. Um, where you can't do it on this. That is one. Those are two like two quality of life improvements that I think this could benefit from. Uh, I don't know if 343 Industries are interested in implementing this. I mean, uh, I don't even know if if they would want to do that. After all, um, this is like most people are, who play MCC are not even going to be playing custom maps. You have you have the Xbox players who uh, I don't even know if they'll ever see custom maps. Uh, you have all the Steam players who are going to play the game with easy anti-cheat on, which disables custom custom maps. And so you're kind of left with only a small amount of people. But still, um, I mean, it would be Halo C custom game, the silent cartography. You can play this online now? That's probably a bug. Um, Anyway, point is, um, being able to be, I would like to be able to like quickly go to whatever map I want, even if I have so many maps installed, like filtering or, 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 or just even just being able to list the maps vertically. I think that would be a huge improvement for this. Oh, of course, like I said, most people are not going to have 5,000 maps installed. They're probably not even going to have more than 20 maps installed. Maybe they, maybe a few people might. Maybe a few people might have 100 or 200 maps. I'm sure that's not insane. But most people are not going to have 5,000 maps. And so but there's going to be someone who will. You know there will be. Because, um, believe it or not, I know someone who has all these maps installed at once on Custom Edition. And they don't complain about the menu because they just use the console anyway. Uh, but still, I mean, like I said, just, 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 some, just some thoughts here. These are my initial impressions. I'm not... This is not like a straight up review or anything. I am just kind of messing around here. Um, and, uh, oh my. This is, uh, this is, a, this is, I think, a step in the right direction nonetheless. I think 343 Industries have released something that's 
pretty good here. Um, could it be better? Yes. I mean, being able to go through these maps easier would be nicer. Being able to play this in some server browser thing would also be nice, just like in Custom Edition. There are there are quite a few things I would like to see, but I mean, overall, it is a it is in fact a step in the right direction. They have improved the game with the previous update, and I mean, can't really take that away from them. So, good job, 343 Industries. Uh, and, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I guess that's it. Uh, now, I don't know if any, I don't know if the game will even continue to function if I try to load any of these maps. I mean, look at the frame rate here. We're at, like, 2 FPS. Uh, this thing is, like, barely working. We have tutorial map dot map. That's fun. Tutorial underscore map dot map. That is a very well-named map. Uh, but, hey, it's not like, uh, oh, testament. Oh, man. I wonder if I can, like, find the original tutorial in that map. This is not an, this is, like, sort of in alphabetical order, but not really. I don't know. Anyway, um, I've kind of rambled on for long enough. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, I, sword gulch AI test, really. Okay, more black gulch. Let's just end on this one. Um, uh, thanks for watching, as always. Uh, have a wonderful day, and I, uh, might make another video on MCC later, sometime in the future, I don't know. Um, but, anyway, um, you'll see on my YouTube channel, I guess. Until then, uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.